Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. So, actually quite a bit to get through this time out because we have um, Brave and the Elements news, we know when it's actually kind of launching and there's a few other little bits associated with that. There's uh, some a cover revealed for a book that we've been waiting for. Um, calendar, finally first information on the calendar for 2025. And a little bit of Netflix Avatar news in terms of an actor posting some kind of behind the scenes shots, which is sort of interesting as well. So uh, we'll start with Braving the Elements. So uh, they initially kind of debuted this information by just posting this video up um, on the official Avatar YouTube channel. They're not going to play the whole thing because it's very much just a promo shot. But the big thing that they seem to be doing here, as you can see there, it says now on video. They're really emphasizing for this season that instead of just select clips going up as video, uh, it seems like the, the whole podcast is going to be available on video. Um, and I think that gets confirmed in this article, which we'll go through in just a second. Uh, otherwise, uh, as you would expect, they're doing season three of Avatar. Um, there is a brief kind of Korra kind of little clip here. You can see here, Janet Varney. Um, I'm not sure if that necessarily is just they're kind of highlighting that she's the voice of Korra, but, you know, or, or what? Because they do the whole Zuko here bit with uh, Dante. So... Are they doing Korra or some Korra clips on this? I'm not really sure. Um, but either way, as we kind of go through, you, it just highlights that, uh, yeah, this is what they do on the podcast. If you've never seen it before, Michaela Murphy is going to be back. Uh, Jack DeSena is going to be back. Um, you can sort of see a sense for visually maybe how it's going to look, which you know could be cool to actually see the, pod, the podcast, listen to the podcast alongside them actually having clips to show off. That definitely helps their, the style of podcast that they have. Um, they're going to have some fans on, so I guess they'll have some kind of fan-focused episodes. Um, uh, and then, yeah, they cover here, there are going to be some of the creators. So, Joaquim De Santos, there's going to be Great Alisle on the podcast. Um, Giancarlo Volpe. And then, interestingly, they do confirm Brian and uh, Mike are going to be on at some point. Um, so make of that what you will um they they do towards the end mention that like see you at the awakening i think more maybe suggesting that the first episode of the podcast is going to just be the review for the awakening rather than maybe anything super special but they probably have a few announcements maybe to make we'll we'll see what actually happens here um so yeah that's really kind of all there is to kind of say there uh, yeah, we'll see you at the awakening. Now they do say here it premieres January sixteenth. So obviously this is next week. We'll get the first episode of the podcast. And um, if there's any like news, I will cover it. But um, historically, based on the first two seasons, there's been very few times where I have felt the need to do a video about something that has been said on the Brave and the Elements podcast. So. We'll see what exactly happens there. But yes, um, a few places were sent out, I guess, the press release for this. Um, and it just covers a little bit more detail. Some of it actually quite interesting that they left out of the video. Um, but yeah, they're going to rewatch book three of Avatar, um, of course. Um, it'll be available wherever podcasts are um, on January 16th, of course. We already knew this. It's going to be a 40-episode season, so do keep in mind, 21 episodes of book three. And then they usually have, obviously, fan episodes, like trivia episodes. And some of the some of the times they do devote an episode to, like, a specific interview. So we'll see what exactly they're going to do there. So, yeah, they confirmed Jack DeSena, Great Lyle, uh, Michaela Murphy, Joaquin DeSantos. Um, you saw Giancarlo Volpe in there as well. <laughs> Not highlighted for some reason, but anyway. Um, and then, yes, they do mention here, uh, co-creative officers at Avatar Studios, Mike and Brian, also return. So that's nice. Uh, and then, yeah, they say here, full episodes will be available on YouTube. So there's the confirmation, full video podcasts. Um, episode highlights also on YouTube as shorts. Additionally, and this is the, the weird part in a way, like, addition, Nickelodeon is launching a premium subscription on Apple Podcasts called Avatar BTE Premium. Uh, it'll be available for $2.99 a month or $28.99 annually. This will give subscribers early and ad-free access to the catalog along with exclusive bonus content. So um, that's an interesting choice because, yes, the, the podcast does have quite a decent amount of ads. Um, but 
like they're gonna have to i think really do some good stuff with the bonus content to kind of justify that just because it's it's like a an official podcast attached to nickelodeon so it's a bit like huh um okay and the hope would be just that they're not locking like really good stuff behind here like i could maybe see the idea of like say um some of the live uh panel type things maybe they keep them uh, as bonus content and um, because they do tend to i think do most of their main stuff on the normal episodes but like it would be i think really kind of mean if say like exclusive mike and brian interview if you subscribe to to this uh, thing but again if it is just like mostly the whole like you get it early you get it ad free i suppose fair enough that seems to be the the usual method of kind of doing these things uh, you do get, I suppose, get the other episodes, the whole catalog without ads, which is, I guess, interesting. Um, otherwise, they just do the idea they're going to break down key themes, battles, behind-the-scenes trivia. Um, Super fans, uh, dish and dish on the latest content from the Avatarverse, uh, from best-selling books to all to all new music and beyond. So I'm guessing that means at some point they're probably going to have maybe a Jeremy Zuckerman. Uh, podcast or they will just discuss what's happening with the soundtrack and um, but i'm my assumption might be that that that's where they're going with that but the idea is like this dish on this that that feels like they're talking about news which i wouldn't really associate as like what this podcast necessarily does like sure once or twice they've mentioned avatar studios but like I really get the impression that like it's not meant to be a news show or it's not really positioned that way overall. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, like I said, I will cover anything uh, about this when it actually when something actually happens. Uh, there's it's one of those ones where there's like no real point doing like a video about every single episode, and I haven't done that so far. And um, that's just the the way it goes with this. Uh, then we get into the book information. So uh, Edelweiss has updated and first of all we have the cover for I Am Katara. So we've been waiting on this for a while. It's also up on Penguin Random House so let's take a look at it here. Um, so as we can see here, pretty nice. Um, the listings don't say Bao Lu but the art looks very similar to I Am Ang and I Am Zuko, so I'm assuming Bao Lu remains on art for these books. And yeah, probably as expected, it is book one Katara, not book two or three Katara, but that is fine. It's just great that Katara is actually getting one of these books, and it will be interesting to see um, the specific scenes they focus on to cover her specific journey. Um, so that'll be uh, pretty exciting to see, you know, as we get like preview pages and then the book actually releases. Uh, it is out June 18th, 2024. So more of a middle of the year book. They seem to be doing one of these books roughly every six months. So I'm assuming in the next couple of months, we maybe will find out about maybe a fourth book, which I think I Am Toph would probably make the most sense. That way you have a character for each element. But I Am Sokka would be kind of interesting. Um depending on what they do um so yeah they're, they're just fun little books um i people pointed out when i think this was first revealed that the listings still say katara of the northern water tribe and they were kind of concerned that like have they got the information completely wrong but uh, I, I might have mentioned this in the video previously if you actually have one of these books you'll note that on the back there's no blurb for like what this book specifically is that is just a very general what little golden books are I, and I believe nowhere in the book, like inside cover or anything like that, does it include that description of what the book actually is. So if that is just wrong there, there's no problem uh, or risk for the final book. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily assume that because they said Northern Water Tribe there, you'll open up I Am Katara and it will say in the Northern Water Tribe or something like that. So uh, we'll have to wait and see exactly, but I wouldn't be worried just based off this description because the description is not featured necessarily anywhere. Uh, then the other update here is uh, this. We got the listing here, as you can see, for the Avatar The Last Airbender 2025 Collector's Edition wall calendar with bonus print, 13 illustrations plus bonus print. It's going to be 6th of August 2024 when this releases, and uh, Edelweiss doesn't have any information, but if you look it up elsewhere, we can go to um, Andrews McNeil, uh, McNeil Publishing, 
and they have at least a description for this. So, uh, same as before, uh, they're emphasizing it is an Avatar The Last Airbender calendar. Uh, it features characters including Ankatara, Sokka, Zuko, and Toph. Your destiny awaits. But then, the key line is this. Featuring illustrations from the Nickelodeon TV series. First published as a poster collection by Dark Horse Comics. So, what they're talking about there if it is indeed this book, is this big book here, the Dark Horse Avatar The Last Airbender poster collection. So it's a very big book, and it obviously features like quite a lot of art. So I think the back covers basically all the different posters that you have. So I'm guessing we're going to be getting a selection of stuff from this. So they mentioned Ankatara, Sokka, Zuko, and Toph. So they mentioned sort of like the main uh, five characters there. And yeah, there's an Ang, there's a Zuko... There's Katara, at least in one of them. No, no, yeah, Katara has her own image just there. And then Sokka is included in this one, but uh, not in some of the other ones. So it depends. They, it might not be entirely just from this, but keeping in mind that they're going to be doing 13, um, they can do most of this book. And at least they're letting you know ahead of time that like it's you know, published previously elsewhere. They are not saying that um, it's brand new stuff, brand new illustrations like we were kind of teased with, with one of the previous calendars. So um, at least it's a little bit clearer about what it is. Um, does that make it a particularly exciting calendar compared to previous years? I'm not really sure because, of course, the first two we had the novel artist. The last one was obviously like comic covers, basically. And this, they're going for the poster collection stuff. It's a bit frustrating because they have, like, Korra to use. Like, they could do Korra art uh, as a calendar, but they don't seem to want to do that. But um, there is your first information on the 2025 uh, calendar from Abrams Books, of course. Then uh, we go to the Netflix Avatar news. So I believe this is, I think, where this was first found. Um, but anyway, on a Chinese social media app uh, called Little Red Book, um, one of the uh, actresses that was involved with um, Netflix Avatar posted some basically behind-the-scenes images, and um, there is some <clears throat> text uh, here as well about her experiences on the set. Uh, I won't focus on this too much. There'll be a link in the description to this uh, Reddit post where you can see all the different images. But uh, I've just opened up a couple. Uh, you can just see some behind the scenes stuff of basically like uh, basically air nomad characters uh, kind, of, kind of getting like fitted for their costumes, I guess. Um, uh, highlighting just, you know, how some of the other air nomad characters except Aang are going to look. Um, get a look at the kind of tattoos on the arm here, kind of highlighting that, you know, they're, they're pretty consistent across like Aang and everyone else. Uh, I believe this is the actual actress who posted this as well, uh, highlighting, um, I believe, the text when someone translated it mentioned something along the lines of, like, it was kind of tough a little bit because, like, COVID restrictions were in place at the time of filming, but um, I think it was she had mostly praise for the way uh, everything went on set, and then there's the kind of, a, kind of cleaner, kind of initial image. And what people initially have been saying here is kind of like, Wow, is this Avatar Yang Chen? Is that is is that kind of what's going on here? Um, because we we'd never heard rumors, I believe, about there being an an, an actor for Avatar Yang Chen. We had had heard the news that like obviously Ang's going to be in there, Kyoshi, Kurok, and Roku are are going to be in there as well, but not Yang Chen. I think most people realize that this is probably from either one of the kind of Sozin's Comet, like the Ernoma Genocide flashbacks, or just one of Aang's flashbacks to being at the temples. Um, there's there's a few places where, you know, you could have other Ernomad characters. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, Yang Chen. Um, now, interestingly, obviously, like, it is a, a, a someone play, portraying, I guess, a relatively young master airbender here so i i understand why people maybe jump to immediately like is it yang chen uh just because the outfit kind of in a way seems to to match overall with the the, the overall kind of like look and then also having the kind of bead necklace and stuff like that so um you know 
I, I think cool stuff, but uh, like I said before, with, with this show, I'm kind of just like, show me the trailer, which I'm guessing should be coming at some point within the next week or two, and then I'm just ready for the release at this point. I, I just want to see some scenes, some of the actors' performances, and what, the, what they're like, um, and then I just want to see the episodes to see how good the adaptation actually is. Uh, I'm a little bit past being incredibly excited by just screenshots, um, so you know we'll we'll see where um, things go from here, uh, because I really do think that probably at some point next week, I'm guessing we may hear something about what the plans are for the the trailer. I'm assuming they'll begin to tease it up, and it won't just kind of drop randomly. Um, we'll we'll see what way they kind of build up to it in that way, but um, yeah. There is the news. So let me know what your thoughts were on Braving the Elements coming back with the details starting next week. Um, I am Katara cover. The calendar is apparently going to be based on the poster collections, um, which is interesting. And then um, some potentially interesting uh, behind the scenes Netflix avatar stuff about uh, other Air Nomad characters. So in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. But uh, that's been the video. Thanks for watching. And bye.